What's up guys, Charles from Freetanks Dev. Welcome to a new video and today we're checking out two different cameras. Firstly, one of these cameras is a micro four thirds camera, a really high end micro four thirds camera. And the other one is a full frame camera, which was launched back in 2019. And I'm filming on both of them right now. I'm not gonna tell you which is which because this issue has been around for a really, really long time. Whether crop sensor cameras are really worse in low light situations because of the size of the sensor the difference in the size of the sensor. So I'm filming on a full frame and a micro four thirds. Which one is which? Can you tell the difference? I'm gonna let you uh, just check out the video side by side. How does it look? The, can you even tell the difference? So basically I just wanted to show you uh, in this video, if you're gonna do stuff like YouTube videos where you're just posting your stuff online, or you know re doing just normal video productions do you really need a full frame and does full frame cameras really perform better in low lighting situations or can you save the money and get a micro four thirds camera with a wide aperture lens will it make a difference is there any difference really uh, by just looking on the camera on YouTube, as right now you guys are looking at it, can you even tell the difference which one is the Canon EOS RP full frame and which is the Panasonic G9? Uh, of course, I'm using the Sigma 16mm f1.4 lens, and this is a third party but really wide aperture lens. So, can you guys tell the difference? I hope you can full frame versus uh, micro four thirds. So basically we're gonna take some photographs and videos, just a few, just for you to get a feel of in low lighting situations, what a crop sensor camera puts out against a uh, full frame camera. The Panasonic G9 is using 16 millimeters, so that is a 32 millimeters uh, full frame equivalent, which is almost the same as on the Canon EOS RP, which is using a 35 millimeters, uh, but an f1.8 on the micro four thirds. I'm using, like I said, the f1.4. So we're gonna check out the pictures and the videos right now. And you tell me if you can tell the difference in the comment section, does it have a really great difference or is it pretty similar? Let me know. So let's check out the videos and photographs right now. All right guys, so that was it. Can you tell the difference which one is the Canon EOS RP and which one is the Panasonic G9? Is the camera A or is it camera B? So 
give five seconds leave your answers in the comment section i want to check out how many of you got this right five four three two and one so the answer is camera a is the canon eos rp and camera b is the panasonic g9 so how many of you guys got it correct pretty surprising if you ask me the micro four thirds camera the panasonic g9 actually did extremely well against the full frame camera it is using a slightly wider aperture at f1.4 lens uh, but overall picture brightness the color science all look really really good even the sharpness and the autofocusing all performed really well and both these cameras are mine so i'm not biased to any one of them i'm just telling you how i see it the panasonic g9 actually look better in every single way against the canon eos rp in this low lighting situation so hope you enjoyed this video guys thanks for watching hit the subscribe button the like button and the notifications button and i'll see you in the next one peace